guys, it's your girl Fairy Queens here, and welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome back to episode 11 of the Moon School Walkthrough. In the last episode, we did the Grand Arena, and we are now on the very final boss, which is Kai Amate. This was extremely hyped up in Krakatopia, and I have a good feeling that these two little mice slash hamster girls are going to be able to take him down. Am I right though? Guess we'll see. Here we go. I am the undefeated one, the only Kai Amate. So he is a rank four boss and he is life. So I'm thinking <laughs> that we be risky and just put a lot of polymorph ninjas in because they are death. And you know, if he death shields, then we still have the gobbler from Baron Von Sammy and we also have the draconian. See? But we're gonna go ahead and polymorph into the ninja since, you know what, I really have not used that very often. I think I may have used that like once, oh, there goes the death shield, but I think I may have used this like once throughout this entire moon school walkthrough. Okay, oh look, we got a steel ward and beguile and plague. Um, it's kind of interesting to me that they have steel ward, I'm not gonna lie. Do I really want to waste two pips on it though? You know what, let's just do it anyway. We'll just do it anyway. I feel like I'm in PvP right now. <laughs> I love that that storm polymorph gives a faint, like that's awesome. Oh look, I have a faint too. So if she tempests right now, I mean, she could kill. Aw, oh, her pet went off. You know, Baron Von Sammy needs to start taking notes. He has been kind of bad these last two episodes. Maybe he's a little shy. Okay, so she's going to tempest and on the off chance that she fizzles, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke screen. I'm noticing that this polymorph gives a lot of utility spells, which is kind of nice. Yay! Okay, now we get to talk to him. Ooh, we got a new badge. I am humbled by your skill, wizard. Sadly, I accept defeat, even though it was inevitable. It is clear that my days of glory are over. I guess I'll just have to settle for retiring filthy rich. Maybe a comeback tour in a few years. You lean in quickly and notify Kaya Mate of Shalik's request. His eyes widen as you emphasize the dire situation. I have been here trying to recapture lost glory, and my comrades have been at risk. I see now that the great sleep was no defeat, but a stalemate. I must gather my fellow gladiators. As foreigners forced to fight for the Tat's amusement, they will revolt too. Return to Shalek and tell him I am ready to fight. This will be my greatest glory. I wonder what everyone thinks about me just, you know, running through Krakatopia as a mouse. I do not fit in whatsoever. <laughs> ah, I should have known those who slept might forget themselves. I'm glad you were able to remind Kai Amate of his calling. With General Kaba and Kai Amate back, we now have four core members of the Order of the Fang, reunited in purpose. Wizard, by helping us you have earned my trust. Therefore, I will reveal a guarded secret. The location of the Golden Fang. Locked in the Vault of Ice for centuries, it offers great power to any croc who wields it. We cannot afford for the Tuts to discover it now. Meet me inside the Vault of Ice. What? You think you can just waltz right into the Vault of Ice and take the Golden Fang? This dungeon will be your final resting place. My heart gladdens to see you. For your help is greatly needed. This will be a difficult mission. Welcome, O oh mighty wizard. If you seek the Keeper of the Fang, you must first defeat the Defender, the Guardian, and the Protector of the Fang. But wait! 
Next, you must show cunning as well as might and solve their riddles. This door opens only when the three mysteries located throughout this greater chamber have been solved. So I guess we need to go find these. Honestly, it's been such a long time since I've done this. Um, I think there's one here and here, though. So we'll see. There is foul and foul is fair. Try and take this thing if you so dare. Okay, we found one of them. Here we go. What is that? Stormstrike, Kraken, Stormblade, Wildbolt, Kraken. Um, well, I've got a weakness on, so I'm gonna go ahead and Wildbolt the boss. Okay, she is going to Blizzard, so let's go ahead and Kraken the boss. Ha ha, you fizzled. Ha ha, you fizzled. Look at that, I'm a storm wizard and I even powered through. Oh, apparently there's a puzzle that I didn't know about. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, okay. Um Moon. Wait, wait, hold on, I'm not doing this right. Um Snake, moon, bird, sun. Yay! Okay, now we go do the others. Tis the thing you've come to claim as your own. Tamper with me, little wizard, and I'll turn you to stone. Okay, since this boss is death, I am going to be transforming into my treant, which is honestly one of my favorites. Ooh, I mean, this is really bad, but like, it's kind of cool. Ooh, stomp. Well, obviously I would like to stomp, so let me try it. <gasps> it's so funny! Okay, now I'm going to swipe the boss. <laughs> That was pretty easy. Okay, so there is another one. Um, fire, ice, storm. So, fire, ice, storm. Yay, we did it. Okay, let's go to the last one now. Show your eyes and grieve with your heart. Come to the shadows and prepare to depart. Okay, this one is also death, so I think I'm gonna go for the jaguar, because I have not transformed into this, because I've kind of been trying to, like, save these, because I hear that they're really good for healing. But I want to try it. I feel like it's appropriate to use it against a death. Okay, so a lot of these are heals, um, but this one isn't. Well, I mean, it is a heal, but like it's also a damage. Let's go ahead and try it on the boss. Oh, 60? Oh, oh, okay. Well, that was an easy one shot. <laughs> oh my goodness, I get rebirth. That's crazy. Kind of hoping that I can maybe get a power pip so that way I can use Goat Monk, but we'll see. No worries, we'll try it again next time. At least we killed. Okay, there we go. This is my domain. You will pay for your trespasses, young wizard. Okay, this is yet a another death boss. Um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna try... Well, what am I going to try today? Um, 
Let's do the gobbler. I'm gonna do the gobbler. It's been such a long time since I've used this one. Oh my god. Dude, I remember seeing all of this and it's just like nostalgic for me. We'll just start chipping away at the minion. Haha, <laughs> you fizzled. I <laughs> can't relate. Okay, so we just took out the minion, so now all she has to do is take out the boss. <gasps> Never mind. So, we would have taken out the minion, but he decided to heal. Look at her flying! So talented. Okay. <gasps> oh my god! That's the first time he's ever done that! Oh my god! Baron Sammy! Thank you! Okay, now we took out the minion. Hopefully this wild bolt doesn't do 10. Please don't do 10. I called it. I literally called it. Look at me carrying the team. <laughs> Dude, we waited so long that our polymorphs ran out. <laughs> You've done it. We have the golden fang. But as much as I am mesmerized by its presence, I hope we never use its power. At last, during the great sleep, we learned the power of balance and vowed never to upset it again. Okay, so now we're going to go meet him in the entrance hall, and we'll see what he has to say. Ah, the fang! Excellent! Now we can proceed! You may wonder, young wizard, why we caused the great sleep. The truth is, we felt we had no choice once we realized the Krakanamakan had been stolen. I hope you do not feel misled. I question the wisdom of ever writing such a dangerous book, but now you understand why we must fight to retrieve it. We know Krakotep, the ruling tut of the Sphinx, last controlled the Krakanamakan. I know him well. He's certain to be hiding behind guards in the Emperor's retreat. Meet me inside, and we will find a way to defeat him. So, you feel you are worthy of entering the Emperor's retreat? Not on your life, you lowly worm. Oh my god! Don't call me a worm. Just as I expected. This place is heavily guarded. Manders toil while Krokotep relaxes in his chamber. Krokotep is known for his intricate defenses. You will find two guardians at the first gate, both princes of the Sakwi family. Even with balance, I would not stand a chance at my age. Please, fight bravely to defeat them and return to me safely. Okay, we are going to fight bravely to defeat them, and we are going to return to Shalik the Wise safely. I had hoped to face a mighty warrior to test my skills, but you showed up instead. Hardly worth the efforts of a prince. Hey, that's not nice. Okay, here we go. Okay, so she is going to be putting the trap on the boss. And I am going to go ahead and blade. by a mere student wizard. Oh, the shame I have brought to my family name. Okay, now we're going to defeat the other prince. Also, I really hope there's mana in here because like I'm running a little bit low on mana and I don't really want to have to use my potion just yet. But you know, if I have to, I have to. They sent you to confront me. You're not fit to clean the floors. Obviously I am because I just defeated your brother. Stinky.
You've done well, young wizard. The lever should work now. Open the door and I'll meet you up ahead at the lake. Okay, here we go to the frozen lake in the Emperor's Retreat. This is also another really iconic part of Krakatopia for me. I don't know why, I just feel like it's very memorable. I think a lot of it has to do with the Manders and also just being on a lake. It's definitely pretty, there's no denying that. Excellent, you've made it. Oh my heart, this place is filled with enslaved Manders. Krakotep knows I can't stand to see them suffer. But he does not know that you're on my side. Let's free the Manders from their bondage. If we can do this, surely they will fight alongside us. Okay, I agree. It hurts my heart to see them enslaved too. Like, look at the poor babies. Oh, I bet his feet are cold. There you go. Here's another one. Yay! Okay, now let me get one more. Yay! We've done it, but we need to ensure that they are not enslaved again. Now we must deal with the Overseer, Paniwi. Don't think me foolish for not rushing at once to get the Krakonomicon. If we do not save the Manders, we are no better than the Tuts. But I see no harm in hurrying. Defeat Overseer Paniwi and return to me at once. I'm really hoping that I don't get pulled in the battle. Okay, I managed to do that, which is good. Um, let me see. I think we have to turn these to fire, right? The door is frozen shut by magic. Perhaps the braziers hold the secret to opening it? It's funny because she called them braziers, but I literally thought they were braziers. You fail to see just how outmatched you are, wizard. He's trying so hard to be intimidating. Like, sir, you really think you're gonna intimidate me? Look what I'm wearing. Krakotep cowers behind a door sealed by a combination. The Manders we freed tell me you must vanquish the Sakwi Keymaster to get it. Once you've defeated the Keymaster, the combination will appear in his room. Use that combination to open the door and take a vengeance on Krakotep. Are you the gatekeeper? I must put you to the ultimate test. Okay, here we go. Yay, Baron Von Sammy! Thank you so much! Defeating me, you have passed the test. You must be the gatekeeper. Yay! Okay, so, um, croc, snake, palm tree. Croc, snake, tree. How do I get in here? Oh, okay. Um, croc, snake, tree. Don't provoke me, wizard. I was just thinking about letting you live in my service, of course.
Okay, we are about to kill him. Here we go. Oh, did it even kill? Oh my god, it didn't even kill! Oh my god, that's embarrassing. I'm so weak. You have found a golden scarab. Okay, now we're gonna use this, I think, right? You have fought bravely. It sickens me to know one of the Order's members gave the Krakonomicon to Queen Krakopatra. Even though it is never easy to defeat one of our own, it was the right thing to do. I fear more troubles await us, young wizard. Krakopatra wields the Krakonomicon, and Krakotep spoke of a new army. The Order has much to discuss. We may not have always acted with wisdom in the past, but you've set us on the right path at last. Come join us in the balance school. Okay guys, so that was that. We just finished the Vault of Ice and the Emperor's Retreat. In the next episode, we will be starting off by talking to the balance professor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Bye!